One thing I love about travel is the food. And if that food can be a sausage, oh my goodness, you know a bastard like me is going to like that even more. I just spent some time in the Balkans and they have this great little sausage called shavapi. And today, we're going to make shavapi like a bastard. Wherever you're traveling in the Balkans, you're going to find some version of chivapi. Um, or it might be pronounced a little bit differently depending on which country you're coming from. It's going to be seasoned a little bit differently if it's Serbia opposed to Bosnia, opposed to Croatian. But I'm going to put together one that I like with my flavors. And mine starts with a pound and a half of fresh ground pork. I use pork shoulder here. And and a pound and a half of beef, of beef. And I use chuck. You can use lamb if you want, or if pork isn't your thing, um, don't use the pork, use lamb or beef, or you can just use beef, or probably even chicken if you want. It's really the basis of how we make these little sausages. And so I'm gonna put a little preliminary mixing on the meat here before we add our spices. So after you've given your meat a little preliminary squeezing, so, so to speak, we're going to mix the ingredients. And it's four cloves of garlic, uh, two teaspoons of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda is really important. Don't skimp on that. A teaspoon of cayenne. Um, if you want it less spicy, use less. You want it more spicy? Use more. That's a tip you can't really find in all of these cooking channels. Important. More cayenne, spicy. Less cayenne, less spicy. Note that. A little smoked paprika, about a half teaspoon of that. And one white egg. No, sorry. That was one egg white. I guess I was trying to make a yolk. Do you put this in here? and you are going to have some fun. You could wear gloves, but then you don't really get to feel the texture of this. And it's quite a texture. Traveling down on the Adriatic coast, I got to try different versions of, of these, and there weren't any bad ones. So I said, well, we better make this and try to simplify it a little bit. Cause you know that's what we like to do here on Cook Like a Bastard. We try to take things that may seem more complicated and make them simple so you can enjoy them at home. Kind of bastardizing them a little bit, I guess. But it's all about the taste, the flavor, and really the pure enjoyment of making the food. So we're going to mix this together. And then we're going to make them into old little logs that are up about um, that long and about three quarters of an inch thick. So after your meat is mixed, you're going to make your little chavapis and they're about a finger length, about three quarters of an inch long. They're not, they're not tough. We're going to make them in here. I'm just going to let them sit. I'm putting on some wax paper because you're going to have to let them sit for an hour to up to a day in the refrigerator to firm up a little bit before you cook them. The other nice thing about these is that they, they freeze up really well so if you want to make a big batch that you know you can't eat today you know uh, just make them and freeze them and use them for another day So as you look here, you can see we have 38 of these beauties. Well, you don't actually see the 38 because it's two layers. And because we don't have like 5D television right now, you can't see there's another layer of these underneath. So anyhow, if you think about what you do with this, you put it in your uh, le piña, your, your, your bread, your flat, puffy bread. Yeah, I know. Uh, and you fit four or five of them in there. I really think one of the le piña sandwiches is all you really want to eat. So. You want to make some, you want to freeze some because you can have them again later. So we've let our shibapi sit for four hours in the fridge and we're going to end up making seven of them. I'm using um, a cast iron grill pan right here and it's at about the right temperature. So we're going to put these guys on here 
Now, in the perfect world, you'd be doing it outdoors in charcoal, but as we're taping it, it is snowing quite hard at about 25 degrees. So we're going to do it inside, which works just as well if you can't go outside. Now you want to get the little grill marks on it, so go across the grain. And you want to cook them until they're at a turtle temperature of 165 degrees, or it may kill you. So the FDA says. Okay, I mean that part of But make sure they're done. So get a, one, do just a quick temperature reading on the biggest one. And they, they are done right now, which is great. The chapati has been cooked. Now we just assemble our little sandwich. So this is a la pina. And you can learn how to make this in another video I've made. You, I'll link it down below or wherever you link these things. So it's a puffy flatbread, which I'm going to put a few of these in. I'm going to put some red onions on there. A little fresh parsley. And some Ivar. Ivar is a pepper and eggplant spread. It's really tasty. Um, we're gonna do a show on that soon. We do know, if just go to Trader Joe's, you can get it, or many other shops. So let's see how this works. He cooks like a bastard. We've made chivapi here on Cook. He's not like a bastard. A to make chivapi, you will need the following ingredients. Three pounds of ground meat, one egg white, four cloves garlic minced, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking soda, two teaspoons ground black pepper, up to one teaspoon cayenne pepper, one half teaspoon smoked paprika. Mix all ingredients together. Form into finger length sausages, three quarters inch thick. Chill at least one hour or up to one day. Grill chivapi and place four to five of them inside a la pena. Garnish with chopped red onion, parsley, and ivar. And cook like a bastard today.